All right, here today, they have officially spoken. They've officially given us a confirmation to kind of ease our concerns. Netmarvel has been kind of keeping an eye on everything. This is why I say that whatever it is, again, I keep seeing the Netmarvel hate. That's consistently a thing. Gotcha, give me Reddit. Always has to, has to say Netmarvel, 100% the worst devs in the world. Like, dude, listen, I, the, the insane, insanity of that statement is the, is just, it's peak to me. It's peak to me. But um, again, Netmarvel has kind of done this thing with every game that I play from Grand Cross to Tower of God to this one. They do see the community feedback and they try their best to respond in whatever manner. Obviously, they're still going to make money. So there's definitely changes and correlations in the game that still aren't the best. The point of an early access is to test things, correct? Every early access does have issues. So people will always jump on this game. And I don't know why. I just keep seeing posts about it. But they have came to a conclusion. They have given us a response, which confirms the big things everyone, everyone has been waiting for. Today, we're going to talk about that. Sadly, again, this game doesn't operate in the manner of giving you the information in-game. You have to go out of game to get the information. So like and subscribe helps out a ton. If you click this button in-game, you too can receive the information here. But yes, upon clicking this, you can actually see the solo leveling guide site. You can go through profile, battle class achievements, and a bunch of things to learn about the game and kind of get an idea for exactly everything that happens here. And you'll at least know basically, like again, some of the points if you skipped it, some of the tutorial elements, it's all posted here uh, so that you are aware. And it's, it's, it's a good feature. It's a good feature, right? Uh, but again, with this, the confirmations, they've officially went and updated the site here uh, to give a better better like idea right because again they kept things very you know sort of uh, light and tight in the game so a lot of the systems were not there being like descriptions and stuff so again reading this over the over here gives more of a confirmation and again originally when i read this there was no confirmation here it was later added to make it easier to understand and confirm the issues we had first things first how this works is again banner system if, you do, if you're new to the channel or new to the game draw one time you increase the gauge when you uh, obtain a ssr it resets the gauge the gauge is 80 hard pity the gauge will start to increase a rate up at 64 uh, draws after 64 it will go up by 5.8 percent every summon every summon every summon 5.8 percent will keep increasing so again at like 70 summons you'll hit the point where you're already at like 50 pity, right? 50% uh, chance to pull a character. Then it keeps going 55, 56, 57, like, you know what I mean? Or 55, uh, 60, 65, 70. Keep on going. So that's how that goes. If you really suck at luck, 80 pity is the hard pity to save your life and stop you from going further. When acquiring an SSR through the draw support, there is a 50% chance of drawing the rate up SSR hero. So again, in this case, you saw the banner. You know who our rate up is real quick. Hop in game. That's our character. He is the current character who is the main character. He's the rate up character, hence the premium banner, hence everything. Over here, 1.2%. He's on rate up. He is our main character. The other characters have an equal chance of dropping post the 50%. So I get to pity. It's a 50-50. I get this, or I have a 50% chance to get this, 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 everything here. Got it? Good, simple, easy quick to understand that is the entire point of this banner system now where does it get into the good area every game chinese gotcha games many of these gotcha games implement a system called the 50 50 and this game we're thinking it was endless 50 50 it's like 50 50 50 50 there was also a theory going around it's 50 percent, then a 75 percent, 25 percent loss then 100 percent. so technically you got to go three rotations hence netmarble the worst company ever hence this game is going to shut down whatever 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 right but the confirmation of the century has come through. If an SSR is acquired, so any SSR, doesn't matter, it's an SSR that is not the rated of character. So it's, it's uh, in this case, we got this character here. If that's the case, guess what? The next time you summon, right? The next rotation, there is a 100% chance of acquiring the rate up SSR Hunter in the next draw support. 100% chance. Once you fail, once you exactly fail, there is a 100% chance of acquiring the rate up SSR Hunter in the next draw support. Hop in game. Once I get to this draw support over here, which is again, I complete the first one, I failed the 50-50. Once I get the next SSR from draw support, it will be a guaranteed character that is the one that I'm looking for. This game does have a guarantee. It's a 50-50 pity. That's how it is. That is 10 out of 10. You have to realize, and this is why players keep getting this entire idea mixed up. Yes, this game, in my opinion, is far from what Genshin is. I genuinely think this game offers so much more free summons than Genshin. Again, a lot of the starting currency, there is so much. There is so much currency scattered around. And I've been saving to claim this on video. For example, I hop over here to Codex. A lot of the Codex, right? I can unlock a lot of stuff here. Uh, again, I, I haven't summoned that much. So whatever I'm claiming here is very, min very minuscule. I hit claim. I just walked away with 270. I keep on doing this from each uh, section. I claim all. Again, over here, 400. Over here, I claim all real quick. 
let's see this is 100 over here of this currency i think these currencies are it right oh there's there some more gems over here and then over here any gems and 28,000 gold not bad i need some gold right now but again these things over here give you a lot of currency hop out over here hop out over here hop to this go down achievements achievements gives a lot of currency challenges missions gives a lot of currency there's also these other events that are active for example here our starter event already drops us with um three six nine uh 12 12 free summons that are premium summons right off the the bat basically right beyond that you then go into systems like this where you go into the ranking system the ranking system also has a crap ton of stuff here so again achievement reward apparently this resets every week also so you have all this currency to claim apparently every week which is a crap ton again can somebody confirm this it does this reset every week or something like that i have no idea but if it does god do you get all this a week ain't no way right that's what i'm thinking like ain't no way that's it's like way too much dude uh time attack also there's ranking system there there's more currency through other events that I've, i haven't unlocked yet on this account so again there's that there's a lot of ways to obtain currency so again with a 50 50 pity and yes thank you for the game exposing me with a 50 50 pity plus this system over here um i think for like the summon system right i think the game is pretty solid and it's going to be in a pretty good area uh, to be semi closer to free to play friendly than most games right again a lot of the gotchas that i play that have this genjin system they give you summons in a very slow quantity you're like you'll be sitting there playing 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 doing event upon event and like the currency you get like oh 50 currency and a multi cost like 180 or 250 or 300 so it's like it's a long time correct and this game again whatever it is it offers a lot of summons i do think that with the 50 50 pity being the confirmation now the confirmation it is absolutely huge that's not the only thing again in game this is already confirmed it to us but yes um there is in fact the ability to transfer pity um here we go after the raid up period uh, for a specific hunter ends the final ssr acquisition support rate will be maintained even when the raid up for the next uh hunter begins so again your pity will officially transfer if you didn't believe the text over there in game which was hovering over it says uh it shares pity this will confirm it for you it does transfer pity transfer so pity transfers um 64 is soft pity confirmed with a 5.8 percent increase every single time over here yes in fact in fact if an ssr is acquired again the next ssr um is 100 if it's not the first one which was the character on rate up next one is 100 that huge huge massive crazy confirmations we've been waiting for and again it's in it's in blatant text you can literally not miss it in blatant text they're telling you that yes we are working on it we're taking care of it and that's the system we're going for whatever it is i still think that the game operates in a pretty decent uh boundary and i will say with these systems uh, i'm very happy to at least be uh again in that in that area of knowledge that yeah it's a 50 50 pity with a guarantee there is no such thing as no guarantee there's no such thing as 75 percent then 100 percent. so you do three rotations all these theories are now out the window completely and our confirmation is solid pity is there as a guaranteed after again a 50 50 so no complaining can happen now literally uh, i get it players also do want a 50 50 but again for the the generosity of the summons in my opinion throughout the game there's a lot of ways to do it um i think that it's a pretty solid system but again as time progresses maybe i change on that opinion but um again there's, there's a decent amount of stuff scattered everywhere uh to kind of acquire so again let me know what you think let me know how your uh, thought process on everything here let's see exactly what happens from uh, uh this knowledge now being there uh, I, I've seen so much complaining on this game for various, various things, but I don't know. The game at, at its core is very good. Yes, there are some stupid decisions here and there, but I don't know. The game is still like a solid 8 out of 10 for me. So that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Take care. Have fun. Confirmation of the century. Pity transfers. Confirmation of the century. Yes, the uh, the guarantee is there. It is 100% post the 50-50. Massive news. So very excited about that. Very excited.